Dear Linden families, it is a pleasure to state today is Friday, October 6th, our 21st day of school. Um, our student attendance data shows that we are at a 94% rate with them coming to school. Our discipline data shows that we are down in in-school suspension and ISS compared to last year this uh, time. Um, for ISS, we're down by 12%. For out-of-school suspension, we are down by 42%. Keep up the great work. So while we are continuing with district testing in grades 1 through 12 to learn more about student levels in language arts and math, our instructional leadership teams have been meeting uh, to review the spring 2022 NJSLA science statewide data. And those assessments were for students in grades 3 through 11. And they took the test in language arts, math, and different grades did science. So the students' individual student reports have been mailed out and they should arrive to your residence no later than October 12th. Those uh, individual student reports are also online on the Pearson website and there is a section specifically for parents uh, where there are narrated videos in multiple languages to help you with understanding the test scores. I'll be presenting the test scores at the upcoming board meeting and you can also speak with your school uh, teacher and principal to learn more about how your student did on that test. So with those instructional leadership teams, they compose of building administrators, supervisor of data assessment, instructional leadership coach, supervisors, and education, educators of various disciplines in each school. And they meet for a professional learning day to unpack our story using data. We want to know how students are achieving as well as areas of improvement. We combine the statewide data with our daily assessment data to learn and grow how we're meeting our district goals, building goals, as well as student goals. And from there, we establish enrichment and interventions to ensure that we are helping students with progressing in their educational journey. Please continue to communicate with your teachers and building principals. Um, we have family nights centered around teaching and learning to help you with navigating through the educational experience of 23-24. Uh, so, reminder, there is no school on Monday for students. However, our staff will be here and involved in professional learning experiences. This is one of our professional development days, which are embedded in our district calendar to cultivate a community of lifelong learners. When students return back to school, reminder at the high school, the New Jersey GEPA assessment, um, the administration, administration for 12th graders will be taking place. Please refer to the school's notifications about the arrival times for all other students who are not going to be taking the New Jersey GEPA test. Uh, earlier this week, we had our college and career night at the high school, and it was a great opportunity, and we saw many students and families look at opportunities to help prepare for their future uh, postgraduate journeys in both college and careers. College fairs are, I'm sorry, student club fairs are continuing all throughout the different grade levels and they'll be held after school. So please make sure that you're communicating with your child as well as the, as the school community so you can get them involved in these clubs. We have a few weeks to go, but uh, parent-teacher conferences will be taking place on the elementary level, so please make sure that if you have any questions before those conferences, you know how to navigate through with communicating with your, your teacher or your principal. And at the um, parent-teacher conferences, I highly suggest that um, you ask questions that can help you with understanding how to navigate with this new way of learning in multiple subjects. 
Thank you to all of our employees for your continuous commitment to the role that you serve with supporting our students in our district. I'm so thankful to be a part of this journey with you. I am also very excited and pleased to welcome um, our Assistant Superintendent for Support, Ms. Lewis. And I brought her on because I would like for her to speak to additional services that we have here in our district to support our students and their well-being. Hi, London families. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. We are here to just stress the importance of student wellness. Student wellness is something that we truly, truly value here in our district. We are fortunate to have all of our schools supported with school counselors, school social workers, as well as district-wide clinicians that are here to support the mental health needs of our students. In fact, we're excited to be hosting our first parent university, which will be taking place on Wednesday, October 25th, on the topic of supporting anxiety in your child. Please stay tuned for other upcoming parent universities that will be offered throughout the entire school year. Again, parents, we're here to partner with you and help strengthen our relationships throughout the school community. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Yes. Take care, everybody.